What is going on everybody, my name's Rippy D, and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to W key in Arena, specifically trios. The gameplay that's going to be in the background is a 23 kill 9th place trio arena game. There were still tons of people left in the lobby, we could have gotten so many kills, but we ended up dying, which I'll cover why we died later on in the video. But anyways, let's get into the gameplay and the tips. So firstly we're going to cover the drop spot. Now the two key points we're going to focus on uh, number one, are you contested? And number two, can you rotate to find players quickly? So firstly off, are you contested? You want to be landing somewhere where you have at least one team contesting you. So I'm not telling you to go salty towers, but just go somewhere where you'll be contested by a team and have to put your fighting abilities to work. In this game we landed salty towers, which was obviously contested. So that's a check for that box. Now number two, can you rotate to find players quickly? When W keying in Arena, you want to be able to maximize the amount of people you can find within your game. So landing somewhere surrounded by big POIs is a must. Let's take Salty Towers for example. From Salty Towers you can easily rotate out to big POIs like Pleasant Park and Sweaty Sands, which is what we do in this game. Also Salty is just located in the center of the map, which means everybody's pretty much rotating into that point. But again, I'm not saying you have to go Salty Towers. You don't even have to land somewhere big, you could land in the zero point, which means you could rotate to Salty, to Lazy, Coliseum, all big places where you'll find people. Alright, let's move into tips to help you actually fight. Number one is going to be the mental battle. Now, it's hard to explain this, so I'll just use an example. You may have found yourself in the situation where you're boxed up and your opponent is aggressing you. They might be constantly spraying your walls, doing tons of flashy edits, and just putting the pressure on you. You most likely felt scared and overestimated your opponent which made you underestimate your ability to win the fight. At this point, your opponent has won the mental battle. So how can you win the mental battle? In most fights, the aggressor is the person who wins the mental battle, mostly because when you're playing aggressive, you're playing confident, which makes your opponent all scared and play off their game. But this isn't something you're going to get just overnight. But the way you can practice this is just by going into arena and W king. By putting yourself in the same situation, hundreds and possibly even thousands of times, you're going to get better at it eventually. So just go into arena and get in as many fights as possible and just try and be that aggressor. You may lose points, but at the end of the day, you're going to improve, which will help you in the long run. Alright, our next tip is going to focus more on trios. So this is going to be playing with your team. Trios usually get better at playing together after playing together for long times because you build up chemistry. So there's no real fast way you can master playing together, but you just have to play together, play tons of games together, just like I said before, hundreds, possibly even thousands of times, you'll get better at it. But something you should do to play better as a trio is have appointed roles. So you may have heard of the term IGL, which stands for in-game lead. This is the person that makes the calls, leads the way, and like says when to rotate, what fights to take, when to take them, just basically being the leader of the trio. Then you have... Then you have another role called the fragger. The fragger's job is to follow around the IGL and basically frag out. Now the third role is going to be support. Support is the person that most likely holds most mids, probably dedicated three slots to holding mids, and it's much like a fragger, just supports the IGL, supports the fragger, and gets kills. Now something the support and fragger shouldn't do is argue with the IGL's decision. If there's mixed communications, mixed decisions being made, you won't play together well because you'll be split and ultimately end up dying. So make sure you build up your chemistry with your trio. Trios is going to be big this season and this year. Alright, and next we're going to move on to the most obvious point of how to W key in Arena, but you need to have good mix and aim. Out of the two, I would have to say aim is the most important. Aim is the most important mechanic in almost any Battle Royale shooter game. You need to have good aim to be able to close down kills. It can allow you to clutch up in tough situations, especially in trios, when you have to hit like all of your shots. I'll put on some creative maps that I use every day to practice my aim. I recommend that you spend at least 30 minutes to an hour a day practicing your aim because it is so important and you need to build up on it. I don't really have any creative maps to practice my mix. Usually I just do free building, but if you have any map suggestions, chuck them down in the comments. And lastly, I'd like to touch on your fighting game sense. To be able to fight in arena, you need to have good fighting sense. The way to practice this is just by again going into arena, W keying, getting yourself in as many fights as possible, 
putting yourself in that situation hundreds of times so that you can improve. That's the only way you can do it. There's no easy fix. But to improve your fighting scenes, you need to do this. You can also optimize using like right hand peaks, peace control to help you get better fighting scenes and win more fights. So just looking at how we die here, we were completely split. We weren't playing together. We were fragging out this lobby, so we weren't playing too cautious. This team we run into is playing all together. Like before I was saying, you need to play it together as a trio. Play it next to each other because they just end up picking us off one by one because we are split from each other which is just unfortunate but we can look at it as a way to improve so just here for proof there's a little clip here that's 23 elums oh my god they have three kills oh my gosh dude we had 20 this rough how many did i have i had 11. if you did make it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching i hope you did enjoy and i hope you did learn something and anyways i'll catch you in the next one